Hey guys, this is Blue One. I'm making my third bucket plugin tutorial here, and this one will be all about the sub commands. Now, last time we did the commands, that was pretty fun. We got this Apple command right here, the plugin.yml. What we've got uploaded here is uh, we got it. So when somebody types forward slash Apple, it'll give them an Apple, and uh, if they type help and then the name of this plugin, it'll tell them all this information right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a sub command so that we can give, um, I don't know, if we were if we were to use a different command rather than Apple, that's what we'll do. We'll change it so that we can type, let's see, hmm, what shall we do? We'll do forward slash g for give and that's it. All right. We'll change this Apple to G everywhere we see it. That includes plugin.yml. We got to change Apple to G. Now what we're going to do, we're going to change this word Apple over here to an item. That's right. We're going to make an interesting little plugin right here, which could actually be useful for you. Uh, Essentials already does something similar to this. I know that. Um, don't bring that up to me because I am aware of that. I'm teaching you how to duplicate it here, how to make something similar so that you can use this information later on. I am not expecting you to clone this plugin and say, okay, I've made this plugin, this is useful. What I'm doing is we're making a plugin that will tell you everything that you will need to know in order to make multiple plugins. So for now, this is what we've got. We've got forward slash G will give you an apple. So let's change that up just a little bit. Let's add a sub command. Let me save my main class here. And, uh, all right, here we go. So, command get name equals ignore case G. So, somebody types forward slash G. Now, we're going to get rid of this. And that's that's it? Is, it, is that all we're going to do? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, we're going to add this subcommand right underneath it. Real easy to do. This is if args. Now, notice right over here. Uh, I should make this big again, huh? There we go. This string args right here, notice it's in a square brackets. That means that it is an array. That means we've got multiple things that can fit inside here. So args can be many, many arguments. There can be as many arguments as you can fit into your um, typing log on the Minecraft server. So what we're going to do right here, if args and zero that means it's the first argument if it's this that means second argument so right now if it's at zero then that means somebody has gone forward slash g space and then the item name apple for instance apple right here is zero now if this is one then we're going to do apple 16 now this is the one all right so that's basically how that works um i, I suppose that was simple enough we're going to do args first argument which is number zero because Java always starts zero one two three all the way up dot equals ignore case just like the command and now we're going to do uh, Apple all right simple enough now we're going to do p dot get inventory dot add item we're going to do a new item stack just like we did before you could really copy and paste this You can even add the message in there if you want to keep the message. I'm not going to just because it's not necessary for what we're doing here. Now, over here in main, you do not have to register the subcommand. You only ever have to register this command right here, which is a nice thing about using subcommands. That way you don't end up with um, get command g set executor this, get command this other thing, get command, get command, get command. And you have this whole list of get commands right in here, and it just makes it a lot more tidy to have subcommands like this. So if you type forward slash g space apple, then player get inventory add item new item stack apple fairly simple now we've got to go into plugin.yml this is the only other thing we've got to change over here in usage after command you've got to put these two square brackets right here that means that it has an include this space by the way it does have a space between the two that that means that it does have a sub command so let's save that and let's refresh uh, make sure everything's saved. I believe we've got everything down here that we needed. Is that right? All right. So now let's select it. We'll X uh, refresh. There we go. And export jar file next. 
browse, we're going to name this one third. I've already na renamed everything in my plugin to be third. Uh, you can do that if you like. Finish. Okay, we'll go to this one. There we go. So now we're going to join right here and we'll reload. Just like that. PL, there's third. Alright, let's see, make sure. Alright, we didn't rename it, so it still does say second instead of third. Let's fix that real quick. Just so we know which one it was. Third has been successfully enabled. I don't know why I always forget to do that. But let's export one more time. We don't have to change the location it's being exported to this time. Why do I keep doing that? Okay, reload. Plugins, there's third. There it is. Third has been successfully enabled. So, now let's type G. Notice an internal error occurred while attempting to perform this command. That's because it is no longer forward slash G. I'll show you how to fix that error uh, after a bit. It's, I guess I'll put that in my second commands tutorial. There will be two of them for the subcommands because of this particular error, which needs to be fixed. Uh, it includes getting the length of the arguments, how many arguments you've got. But for now, let's do G Apple. And look at that. We have an apple just like that. And since we did not send a message, it did not send us a message in the, um, in the chat log. It did not see this error right here. This is the error I'm talking about that we need to fix so that when people type forward slash G, not knowing it, that it won't just make this huge mess out of things. All right, but G Apple, as you can see, worked just nicely. We'll do it again, just one more demonstration, and there you go. So that's how you use a basic subcommand, and I will make that the end of this tutorial. I know it's kind of short, but short is good. It means that we can categorize everything, and you can get through a quick problem really quickly, and this already works. This plugin is effective. So we'll save this how it is, and then in the next tutorial, we will add um, a fix for the subcommands so that it no longer sends us that error, which um give you a little preview here just to maybe get you kind of excited. We'll put right about here if args.length, just like this. There we go. See if we have equals zero. That means that there's no other arguments. I'll, I'll show you exactly how that works in the next tutorial. Just go ahead and watch that. Don't try to figure it out on your own. You just as, a lot of people will try to figure things out on their own, and they'll have a really hard time with it, and then they'll get frustrated, and then they'll give up. And I almost did that several times, and I don't want that to happen to you. Just follow the tutorials in order, and I'm sure that you will understand everything in time. And if you have any questions, please, please just put those in the comments, and I will reply to them as soon as possible. I will also include any suggested information in the next upcoming plugin tutorial. So if you guys liked this, if it helped you at all, um, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tell your friends about me. Uh, if you've got questions, your friends have questions, you need to know something, doesn't matter. There's no such thing as a stupid question. There's only stupid answers. I've told you that before, and I do my best not to give stupid answers. So if you could, uh, hit that like button, have a good time coding, and hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to see them. You have a nice day.